Hi, I'm Alicia. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is the end of February, which means it's the end of summer. So I thought I would do a my favorites video with my favorite things from summer. Okay, to start off, I am going to do my top three favorite books because I couldn't choose just one. So I'm just going to do my top three. Firstly, we have The Martian by Andy Weir. This is one of my favorite books. I have wanted to read it for so long and I'm so happy that I got it because I was looking for it forever. Um, I was not disappointed one bit. I loved every second of it. For ages, so many people raved about the Martian movie and I knew that there was a book so I decided I wanted to read the book first. Let me tell you, if you've seen the movie and haven't read the book, please read the book. The book is so much better. It is incredible. I absolutely loved it. I really want to read more of his work, um, but yeah, recommend. The next book we have The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. This book was amazing i loved it i find i don't know if this is just me but when i'm reading if i'm not fully immersed in a book i find myself looking at like the page numbers as i'm reading and i'll be like oh my gosh i have this many pages left I, or i've only read this many pages but with this book i didn't do that once i read it in one night i was sitting there until 5 a.m reading this book i could not put it down i loved it i found myself relating to olive a lot um I just recommend this. There is some like spicy scenes, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can skip it. It doesn't add that much to the plot. It like adds more to the character development, but it was so amazing. I recommend it. Now the next the next book is a series. Um and I read them very recently in February. And I was basically in a bit of a reading slump and I couldn't really get into reading anything but I went into Target and they had them at a reasonable price so I got the first one and that is Heartstopper by Alice Osman. I can't express to you how much I love this book. It's a graphic novel so it's more of a, like a comic and I have never read a graphic novel but I'm so glad I read this. Now there is four books in this series. Um, It is just I love these books so much. I cannot tell you how much I love them. It's becoming a Netflix show very soon. They've already finished filming, but it's becoming a Netflix show. So I recommend probably reading it before seeing the Netflix show. I would recommend reading the warnings for these books first because there are some very heavy topics discussed, such as these. So I would just recommend looking at the warnings. But other than that, I love these book series. I will be rereading them. Cannot cannot explain my love for it. Next up for my favorite things from summer are my favorite songs. So I have two. I couldn't decide what one I liked better. So I'm putting them both in here. Um, these songs were on repeat all of this summer. From December through to like now even. Repeat. Love these songs with my entire heart. First one is Falling For You by Colby Kellett. This is kind of an old song that I rediscovered and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't listened to Colby Callett in forever and it's just been on repeat. This song makes my heart bloom. I don't know what it is. It's got like drugs in it or something. I don't know, but I love it. The other one is Middle of the Night by Ali Du. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. I don't know. I This song, I heard it and just something about it just lit something inside me i love it it's just such a vibe um i listened to it on repeat for a good three days just that one song nothing else <sighs> the amount of edits i have saved in my camera roll to this song is ridiculous i i can't express how much i love it definitely one of my favorites next favorite tv show would have to be arcane I have watched this show literally seven times. That's not an exaggeration. I love this show with my entire heart. I have never played League. I've never been interested in League. Probably will never play League of Legends. Um, But you didn't have to know anything about League of Legends to enjoy this show, which I love. I cannot describe how much I love the art style of this show. It is just so beautiful. 
I wish my art style was the arcane art style. Just the entire storyline as well, I think the topics discussed and portrayed in this show are so incredible and the way they do it is outstanding. I absolutely love it. I cannot, I could make an entire video talking about how much I love this show. I will be re-watching it again for the eighth time. I love this show so much. I can't express how much I absolutely would give my heart and soul for this show. There is a season two confirmed, but it took six years, six years for the first season. Please don't let it take six years. I don't think it will because like the first six years was like casting, producing, finding the art style, etc. But anyways, if you haven't seen Arcane, highly recommend watching it. It's incredible. Next, we're going into like toiletries, makeup, that type of stuff. My favorites of that for summer. My favorite makeup product that I found quite recently actually is this lipstick. It is shade 645 in the Color Rich by L'Oreal lipstick um the shade name's jlo's i don't know if you can see that color it's literally that color it is identical to my lip shade which kind of you'll probably be like that's kind of useless but the texture and the formula of this lipstick is so nice it is like moisturizing it's not drying i find it really hard to find like nude shade lipsticks that i like i usually only wear like red lipsticks like deep red lipsticks but i absolutely love this we're going to have to buy another one um but yeah, this is my favorite makeup product. Next, we have my Holy Grail, my Blistex lip conditioner, lip balm. Um, my friend Kiana put me onto this, and ever since, I have not been able to use another lip balm. None of them work the same or nearly near the same. I don't know if you can see, but like in the corner of my mouth right now, my skin's kind of like gone all weird. I was using Vaseline lip balm for a bit because I ran out. And I got this like thing and this is the only lip balm I've used that can stop the cracking in the corner of my lip. So I was like, I need to go get Blistex. I love this. This lip balm is my life. This is my holy grail. This is my lifesaver. I could not live without this lip balm. This next one is another thing Kiana put me on. Kiana puts me on so many things. Um, and you might think it's like weird, like why are you showing your favorite deodorant? But this deodorant smells so good it's the dry idea baby powder deodorant you can only find it at chemist warehouse i don't know if they even have it in america but in australia at chemist warehouse they have this and it is so good i love the smell of it i don't think i can ever use another deodorant after i've used this it is just immaculate can't really say much more about it but i love it okay the next thing that i loved this summer was wearing hair bows you just pull your hair back and put a hair bow in it and it's just so cute and so feminine and so girly i love it um i've been doing it heaps recently even now but i love doing it throughout summer when i didn't want to have my hair down because it's hot always put a hair bow in it it's just so pretty okay my favorite clothes that i wore all summer or i wore heaps this summer was firstly linen pants i'm kind of into like the academia aesthetic if you know what that is and these linen pants were my holy grail because i have skirts that fit like my aesthetic but um sometimes i just wanted to wear pants and finding pants that i can wear in the australian heat is really hard but these are just so like nice and thin and flowy and they were just perfect for summer i wore them all the time they're from cotton on I think everyone should have a pair of linen pants in their closet because they are so versatile. Like, you can wear so many different tops with it. Also, beige is such a cool colour. I love wearing, like, earth tones, like, natural tones, and beige is one of them, and I just love it. The other item of clothing that I wore heaps this summer was this little puff sleeve crop top. It can be worn in so many different ways. Like, I wore this just as a top. I wore it under dresses. I wore it under singlet shirts. And there were so many different outfits that I could wear this with to just cover my shoulders so I didn't get sunburnt. But yeah, love this. It is so cute. It is so like cottage core. If you can find one of these, mine's from like Supre. I got it a couple years ago actually. But if you can find one of these, I recommend buying it because it is so versatile. My favorite perfume that I got this summer was the Calvin Klein One Shock. It's like chocolate, like Mexican chocolate with like berries I love this so much. I wear it all the time. It's like my signature scent. Although I just got Cloud by Ariana Grande and I love that too. But this is my favorite 
perfume. Now these are some other items that were my favourites or I found to be my new favourites throughout this summer. Starting off, the IKEA vanilla candle. Oh my gosh, it was like $3. I went to IKEA for the first time. It smells so good. I love it. I, I need to get a new one. It's running out and it's kind of like yeah crusty but i will be getting a new one when i go to ikea next time and i'll probably buy like three or four it smells so nice the ikea vanilla candle another favorite thing and this isn't really like summer related but it is it's one of my favorite things and i bought heaps of them throughout summer fake plants i suck at keeping plants alive so i always buy fake plants these were like three dollars from target each come on they're so cute and they make your room feel like so alive. Fake plants are one of my favorite things ever, especially when decorating a room. I feel like it's a necessity. Like you need fake plants. Even if you don't think you need fake plants, you need fake plants. I got these for Christmas, but I can literally not leave the house without them anymore. They are like attached to me. And that is my Bluetooth Sennheiser noise canceling headphones. I have a lot of trouble with like noises and I don't know why we have never figured out why. But these, I feel, do a really good job of noise cancelling. And the audio for, like, music and video is so good. They're so comfortable to wear as well. Like, I can wear them for a six-hour day at school and not have any troubles at all. They are a bit pricey. They were, like, $200. But I really needed a good pair of headphones. So I love these so much. Um, literally don't know what I would do without them. They are my favorite thing ever. Anyway, that's it for my favorite items from this summer i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more content from me make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment suggesting any video ideas you'd like to see from me and i'll see you next time i got my head out this sunroof i'm blasting